Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the lactate ice cream. This is lactose free ice cream. I have the vanilla. I have cookies and cream. These were $3.99 each at Kroger, and they did have one more variety to choose from. They had a mint, uh, but I did not get that. These are just the ones that look good to me. And the reason we're trying these is because QJ requested that we try them. So uh, we have had the lactate. Um, Eggnog. eggnog and it was absolutely delicious eggnog so i can't wait to try this and um, we're not lactose intolerant so we're just trying it for you all we're trying it for you all it has a good seal around the top mm -hmm. both of them do. Uh, yeah you can go ahead and take yours off if you want um so this is i'm not gonna take my top off for the camera <laughs> but i'll take this plastic seal off. <laughs> yes please um this is real ice cream it says no discomfort <laughs> I guess if you're lactose intolerant, you get some tummy troubles. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. There are six servings in the container. Two thirds cup or 95 grams is 200 calories. It says rich and creamy, always easy to digest. Lactate vanilla ice cream is delicious, rich and creamy because it's made with only the finest ingredients. And best of all, it's made with lactose free milk and cream. So it is naturally easy to digest. Mine, it says exactly and the same thing. They also have salted caramel mm -hmm. and chocolate that our store, yeah. our Kroger did not have. Um, either one of those That's i would because i would have bought the salted caramel mine doesn't have a picture of mint either does yours <laughs> Oh, that's weird, and that's that's the one. That's the only other one I have. Okay. Now this isn't sitting out for just um, what, fifteen minutes, ten or fifteen minutes. Yes, and it looks like a vanilla bean because it has little dots in it. Yeah, it has yeah. the. So let me see if I can hold this up without spilling it or dropping it. I don't think I think it'd be fun, but you see the little the little dots. In Maybe, it? might be able to see the dots. Usually, um, okay. it has a strong vanilla bean flavor when it. Well, I like a good vanilla ice cream. I like that a lot. Nothing wrong with that. No. The texture, the texture feels a little bit greasier, mm -hmm. like a little, little. Um, does that make sense? It mm -hmm. feels like it's coats your mouth just a little bit more just than a traditional ice cream does. And you're not left once you swallow it. You're not left with as strong of a like an ice cream that flavor. flavor that you normally would have. Yeah. No, but it's really good strong vanilla though. I'm left yes. with vanilla. You mind. have the vanilla, but you don't have the other ingredients that make ice cream. You don't have that flavor, the cream yeah. flavor, I guess. I, I think it's good. But I, I, yes, I like it a lot. If, if you can't have mm -hmm. lactose, then, I mean, if you can't have, yeah, lactose, then, um, then you probably enjoy this. Like I said, the only thing that throws me off a little bit is that little bit of a greasy uh, texture to it, but it's still good. I would eat that anytime. I like that. Yeah. All right, this one's the cookies and cream. It is, it says the same thing on the back, by the way. Um, two thirds of a cup is 220 calories. So, so 20 calories. 20 more. calories more for, uh, cause you get cookies. Cookies. And it looks like a typical, ooh, there's a big hunk down in there. Ooh. Mm. I like to see uh, hunks of cookie. Yeah, once you see how much that is, I mean, you get quite a bit there of cookies in there. Go ahead. It's cold and wet. Okay. Just like your heart. And in the ingredients, it does say chocolate cookie pieces. Hmm. The cookie pieces oh, are not crisp cookie pieces. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, um, they're not soggy, but they're soft. They're soft. They're yeah. soft cookies. They're, but that's not bad. I would expect that in a lot of cookies and cream. Yes. That's what most of them are anyway. Um, I like that. I like that better than the vanilla, actually. Oh, do you? Well, it doesn't have that texture, that mouth feel, uh -huh. you know, that greasy feel. Mm -hmm. You probably don't notice it as much because it does have the cookies in there. It probably still has it, but it's just not, it's not as strong. You know what? I like that. I think I like that better. Is but that what you said? Cookies and cream. Yeah. yeah I do too. I, I didn't think, once I, when I took the first bite, I would have still said the vanilla, 
But then I took another bite and I got a thick mm -hmm, got a uh, hunk, of, hunk cookie. of cookie. Yeah, and so really I, I like that one. And you're left with the vanilla flavor, but you're also left with that chocolate the cookie chocolate flavor. chocolate cookie, yeah. So you've really got a little like bit of that vanilla chocolate, chocolate mix flavor left in your mouth. Yeah. Whereas that one was literally just vanilla. And, and it's a vanilla bean vanilla, like almost like vanilla extract vanilla. It's a very, very strong vanilla. Yes. These are a quart size. I don't think I said how big they are, but they're quart size. Yeah, so there's six servings in the container. Three ninety nine for quart size. I don't think that's bad at all. No, I this, would get either one of these. Yeah, and if you're worried about calories, you'd have to just measure them out. Yes, weigh them out. you would have but, to weigh it. But yeah. I think both these are good. If you can't have lactose, I think these Absolutely, are definitely worth trying. Absolutely, yes, yes. I'll now, like if you're if you are lactose intolerant and you have tried these, you'll have to let us know if they really didn't affect you. But um, yeah. because we have no way of knowing. That's true. That's true. Very true. Uh, and if I ever see the salted caramel, I'm going to try it uh, yeah, because I think it sounds really good. Yeah. So if we ever get it in our area, I'll try it too. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.